Welcome to the new Form Technology Research Center. And Frank Chester and all the people that are enthusiastic about his work. The first form that he came in was, was warmth. Okay, and he made a seal that represented warmth. I took that seal, it was two-dimensional, flat, and I brought it up into a bell. And the reason I did that is because this seven-sided form, when you spin it, turns into a bell. Now, the geometry of the bell has never been known. No one has ever known the geometry behind it. They, I asked, how do you do it? They said, just trial and error. We found out it was this shape. So I took that shape and I put it into the seal. And this is the seal in three dimensions. And so uh, this is the warmth. And I'm bringing the opening of the new, new technology research center with this bell. Notice how it's suspended? It's not from the top. It's suspended from the center. That's never been done before. Do you believe it? All the bells through all the history. No one's ever done this. They put the hammer on the top and it deadens this whole area. Okay, one more time. One more time. F sharp. Uh, I also have made one of the Venus bell, which is the end of his seal. And they have different tones, and yes, they're exactly the same size, same metal. And this is bell bronze. This is the traditional bell bronze. It can get a lot louder, but <laughs> that's a fitting time that Miller Steiner passed um, this day. And also, you have to remember that across the threshold, this was his birthday. And so this is also the birth of new forms. Okay, so what I thought I'd first start out with is my vision. What's my vision here? What, what do I see ahead? Uh, and what I see is that this is basically in a, a, a water device. Um, it also affects the air. All right, so I envision that all the water that is being ruined, waste water, okay, is being cleaned today. We're trying to clean it. And there's many ways to clean it. Electricity, uh, like Richard knows, there's uh, um, all kinds of different uh, processes that the, the people are putting the water through and so forth. And that's fine. It's great that we have water that's clean. Okay? But the problem is that the water, when it is clean by any process, okay, loses its vitality. It doesn't have its original structure. It's gone through a process of cleaning which destroys the structure. This form, I have, through the research, have the idea that this will vitalize water, bring its life force back into the water that is being taken out through cleaning. And there isn't anybody doing this on the earth yet. All they're doing is cleaning. But they're not thinking of what that water okay, has lost. This will bring in, I feel, <coughs> vitality back into life forces. It's the, it's the idea, if you think of the apple, and people study the apple falls down on the ground, okay, what our life forces are is what made the apple go up there. How'd the apple get up there? In the first place, you got up there through life forces. And that's what I think this is doing, is because it's based on a vortex. It's all based on a vortex. Um, and a vortex is how everything comes in. If you just look at any child's head, you know, your hairline, you'll see your vortex in what direction it's turning. And it's in all, every one of us, all the time. Well, this is a vortex device. Absolutely, it is the geometry of a vortex. So I'm hoping that the idea is, is not to make the water better for you to drink, not to make it better to grow better vegetables, okay? It's not there to, to uh, um, make a better liquor, okay? This device and all this work is about the water, not us. It's about the water. And when we leave, okay, we leave that water behind. And that water that we leave behind has been destroyed to a certain extent. And so, yes, we will have better vegetables and we will drink more energetic uh, water, but it's really about the water. 
because the water is an entity. So, um, So what am I looking for in this vortex is that I'm looking for that vitality. So, um, what makes me think that I can uh, have this device that would do this? You know, I mean, you can, you can have all these uh, high ideas, and, but I, I need to get everything grounded. I need everything, that the, all these great ideas, I need to bring them into something practical. I have to have something that works. Not just uh, uh, speculation. So, why do I think this will do this? Why do I think this will work? All right. So, I'll just tell you. Uh, first off, uh, in 2001, I paid $750 for this device, this form, the seven-sided form, was sent to Japan. And it was a steel one, not wood. And I, I sent it to uh, Dr. Oto. Uh, he's uh, the guy who does all those water studies, you know, where you pray mm -hmm. to the water. Emoto. Uh, yeah. uh, most Emoto. people know about that guy. Emoto. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I said, aha. So I took $750 and I sent this to him and I told him to put a vial of water. I knew what size vial he uses because I had his book. I made it so the vial of water would go in there. And I also had another vial. I want to put in another room, completely independent of this one. So the same water was put in, the tap water, and both of the vials, and I wanted it left for 24 hours. And then I wanted him to go through his crystallization process to find out if there any effect. And there, there's the effect on us board over there. I have two of them. The one that's near the back door is the water before uh, anything was done. I'm a, it, that there's only one that's growing, and you want to look at the size and the organization. So then, the other one that was in the form is the one that's closer to me. You can see that the crystals are bigger, they're more organized, they're more beautiful, there are four grows, there are grow there's four of them growing, and there's very, very few of them that go into chaos. So the thing is, is that if you have water that you're whatever you're doing with it, drinking it or using it for other purposes. I mean, which water would you want to use? Well, you, I mean, there's no choice. The, the crystallization and the beauty and so forth and so on is much, much more improved by just putting it inside here. What that means is architecture affects it for 80% of the liquid. So I knew that, okay, that there was some kind of change that the form made. Now, I, there's a lot of experiments that I could have done at $750 a zip. I couldn't afford any more. If I had, I, there's a lot of things that I could do. So I had that. Okay, and I also found out that the form is the uh, inner structure of the monofibers of the human heart. And that's, there are eight pictures over there. And the, this form shows how those layers um, are organized. And there are two vortexes, there's one like this, and there's one like that in the human heart. And there are vortexes. Okay, another practical thing is I found out it was a bed. And that's what, what I have over in this little chart over here. There are two bells in the world now. There's one in New York and there's one in England. Uh, this is a building designed after the Chetahedron right here. And this would be a place where it would be a research center in the future. It's also where uh, people could come together and music and uh, painters and uh, any of the arts could be done in it. And that, that 
building is completely lit from the outside. All of the colors are coming from the sun. They go through stained glass and light up the building so there's no paint. Okay, that's coming from the sun. And as the sun goes across and the different seasons and so forth, that will change the outside of that building. And plus there's nylon wires there, big ones, that can be played on a big bow like a violin. And also the wind will throw in what will affect it. So anyway, that is another practical application. I'm trying to bring things down into earth. Okay, not just the ideas. So I had those, those are good ones. Now also, I had a person experiment with this device and um, they found that the root, the root growth and the stem growth on a plant uh, increased. And the nodes were closer together, which meant that, he said that meant that the plant was more organized. Um, also, when you s use this device and you spin it in a big enough container, there are three vortexes. And they're all turning this way and off this way at the same time. No device does that. Um, also, what happens with this is that this device implodes. It implodes water. And a lot of people wonder, what's an implosion? I know what an explosion is. What's an implosion? An explosion is where all the energy is bursting out from a shell around it, like metal, like a bomb. Okay, that's an explosion. But an implosion is an explosion inside, without a shell. Well, you can imagine that an implosion, that an energy goes into the very center of something and it, without any case, that's what this device does. What happens is it starts with a vortex like this. On the surface, it turns into a vortex. After the vortex forms, they all, all of a sudden the water is completely flat. Then all of a sudden there are bubbles everywhere and there are hundreds of vortexes all across the water. And I mean in a swimming pool, I mean an Olympic sized swimming pool. And they're just spinning like this everywhere and there's bubbles everywhere. And then they all disappear. Let's calm again. And then all of a sudden you'll see this, at least uh, my device was about this big, like an orange. Uh, I would say a, at least this big an area under the water was completely empty. It was under vacuum. So this huge mass of, well, I call it life force. It's not oxygen. Uh, I call it a life force. This whole big mass moves into the water like this and then comes up and just bubbles off into the surface again. And then the whole thing starts again. A tiny vortex, little vortexes, bubbles, and then the implosion and this thing. And there's a rhythm. And the rhythm is, the rhythm is a natural rhythm. And the rhythm isn't coming from the device. The rhythm is coming from the water. The water holds the rhythm. And this device has this effect. And there isn't anything I've seen anywhere that can float water. It can actually explode the water from the internal side of it. So I've tried all kinds of mixers, all the mixers I've been able to buy, about the towers and everything else. Nothing like it. has no effect like this. So that's why I think this is all worth the effort to start a research center of this. And that's all this is going to be is the CBO. This is the CBO. This is the third generation of it. Um, this device here, okay, it's never been on Earth before. And it's designed after the way that the form fit in the Earth, which uh, is a new discovery of the flower of life, and also in relationship to the human heart. And I brought those two together, and this is what I've got. And this right here, uh, an Olympic-sized pool, that was from here to that white truck back there, or that white SUV, on a five-horsepower motor, turned this, it was a vortex from here to the car. On the surface, you could see it going like, all the way like that. Now, what does all that mean? What does that, uh, what, what can I do with it? I don't know, that's why I'm here. <laughs> this is a, a CBO, it's called a, a Chesco Vortex Organizer. It organizes vortexes. And I'm here to find out if this thing has any merit, or if this thing works, or what, what this thing will do. That's what I'm here. I'm not here for any other reason. Although there's some, I could, I could research a hundred things, but I'm going to concentrate on one thing, because if this works, if this works, this will transform water. This will be used for drinking water, hand cranks, 
can be used in uh, preparations and farms. It can be used uh, on a can't tell you how many applications. And that all that development can come back into this research center, and we can take the rest of the research center, the rest of the area, and start researching other things. And this thing can get bigger and bigger and bigger. And why do we need to do that? Because we need to work with something new here. We need to start. We, have, we need to start and realize that there are things that we can't see but are there. And we can scientifically study what is not seen. Anybody that wants to work with this on me, on this, uh, this is uh, a book of the patent. This has been a patent. This device has a patent on it. And so I mean, you paid $5,500 for this patent. And the inside here is all of the uh, drawings so you know what, what a patent has. It has all of these files and, um, that you have to do, all these drawings and photographs and drawings and so forth and so on to protect the form. So if anything is found from this form, it's got a protection. That's the idea. And you have to remember that a patent is any better than a laureate. And not only that, but I'll tell you what, a patent is like a dead bolt on your front door. The patent is there to keep honest people honest. But a crook will go right through that dead bolt and won't bother him a bit. He can get that thing open in no time at all. You can't stop those kind of things. Okay, but you have to protect it to the best you can. That's why I most of the time give everything away. Because if I do that, it belongs to everyone in here. This doesn't belong to me. This belongs to you. And if you have a, a desire that you want to try something or whatever, then let's do it. I'd I'll, I'll be willing to help you in any way. I'll just show you a little bit here what the device does. And this thing here, which is a very good demonstration, but on the, on the internet, there's, on my website, there is a, a site where uh, it shows the applications in the Philippines. The Philippines would be over there, a man who is, his company is named Environmental, uh, Environ, uh, Environmental Marketing Inc. Uh, and he was going to use this device to clean the largest river in the Philippines. And he didn't get the bid. So it would have been a multi-million uh, project. But didn't get it. So why not? Okay, there's some reason. Why is it I had to work 13 years before I have this, this building? Something's there. And something's happening now because it's starting. Um, I'll just show you this little guy here. He's smaller than a golf ball. But uh, it just shows you the power this little guy has uh, to make it work. And that's, that's an amazing thing. I think it's going to work. I do think 
that there is a potential here to bring in life forces into water and reconstruct it into a healthy form and have a home and drink. That's what we're hoping.